My, it's rather stout compared to before. There. Do you see me now? Have I forgotten to introduce myself? My name is Elizabeth. <sighs> Do you wish to behold death that much? Dear, it seems it won't be easy for one of this size. I cannot damage the world of everyone's hearts, and I hesitate to make a scene in the real world either. Time for a change of scenery. We'll soon reach our destination. Now, I had promised to show you death. Your fate is in the cards. The god of death, Thanatos. What do you think? Was it to your liking? Well then, farewell. My master has a large nose. Thinking back on it, I spent so many days like that for such a long time. 
I had thought that it would be impossible to change. It'll surely resurrect within the year again. And I'll go through today once more. Now, that's why I have come here. A double check on the danger scale situation that I just recently discovered. I sense multiple Persona users gathering. It's once in a blue moon that one discovers a place like this. I'm sure I can learn some interesting things here or something along those lines. In any case, I, Elizabeth, can scarcely keep myself from getting involved. Building. Is it a school? It seems somewhat old fashioned compared to the school I have experience with, but it has its charms as well. This is what they call animalist aesthetic. Animalist? Bestial? Anyway, something along those lines. Decorations. Oh, could this be the fabled school festival I've heard tell of? A festival is where one toys with the lives of goldfish in a scandalous game. One can also enjoy a combat simulation with close range shooting tests using sniper rifle fire into the interior of stalls. Ooh, I'm starting to get excited. We won Grand Prix. Could this be a fighting tournament? Oh, 
This isn't why the Persona users are gathering, is it? Lady over there, she not a Persona user? Hmm, regardless of that, I sent something out of the ordinary. Is she truly human? Still my old self when I only live to play out my role, I would leave her be. But I am different now. Excuse me, you got some reason to be at our school? Could someone have tampered with her memories and psyche? Are you sure this is how things should be? Huh? What are you talking about? I am a wanderer who only stopped here because I sensed great power gathering. I am in no position to give advice, but... Um... This place will soon be caught in a bit of a fracas. If you continue to avert your eyes from everything, I think it will have an impact on your life in the near future. My... my life? What you choose is up to you, but I believe there are factors preventing you from making the right choices at the moment. I couldn't bring myself to just stand by and watch as you lost your life before my eyes. That is why I came to you, so I could give you one last chance. My, what a robotically cool body. It is apparently meant for battle. Hey, you! What did you do to me? 
Nothing in particular. Well, well. Considering that you are meant for battle, I shall briefly be your opponent. During that time, why not think back about who you are? Uh, huh? My opponent? And away we go! Final! Fight! No! Uh, uh, fight! Uh, uh, pardon me! Uh, uh, it's time to be judged! The lover! Uh, pardon me! Pardon me! Uh, Mind uh, the summit! Uh, Here's uh, your uh, place uh, in the park! Uh, it's time to be judged! That should be enough. I'm sure you realize now that you are not human. There must have been an important promise that could only be kept in that guise. That must have been your reason for living. Whether it's worth losing that or not, I ask that you give it serious thought. An important promise? My reason for living? Now, it seems the tumult of trials is about to begin. In which case, I bid you good luck. What an intriguing event, more so than I had first imagined. Ladies and gentlemen! Is everyone ready? It's time to get our program started! I, Bissette, will be your commentator! Please, hold your applause! Oh, you're too kind! You're too kind!
Well, with things starting to heat up now, the General has a few words for you. The mic's all yours, sir. I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Presenting the manliest of all men! This is more of a to-do than I thought. Hmm. Is this an introduction to the contestants? Carnivore who's discarded womanhood, the blood-curdling beefcake emperor, the sister complex kingpin. Are these signs of their willingness to cast aside their pride in pursuit of victory? I wonder if they're not casting aside a little too much. This is a rather novel idea. Should I officially enter this as well? Oh, but if the manliest of all men are the ones called for, I cannot participate. Then again, I distinctly spotted a woman or two in the introductory video. Then I shan't concern myself with such trifling details. I shall soldier on. Oh my! The host himself is before my eyes! Pardon my dynamic entrance! S someones here! Hmm? Please forgive me for startling you. Who are you, miss? I am Elizabeth, a mere elevator attendant. Albeit one who is currently utterly neglecting her duties. An, an elevator attendant? I don't believe it! I'm having culture shock! I wish Junessa's elevators had such beautiful attendants, too! Excuse me, but may I ask your name? I'm sorry, would you mind repeating that in human language? I was saying it normally. Teddy is my name and I'm a proud bear! I see, Teddy Bear. You have a rather creative flair to your appearance. I wish you'd say cute instead. Though hearing a pretty lady like you say so makes my heart skip a beat! Lack ventilation. How does he breathe in there? Oh, there's a zipper. Stop! I'm ticklish. Oh no! No opening! You're embarrassing me. Oh, please forgive me. Curiosity almost killed the bear. Huh? What were you planning on doing to me? You're even a tougher customer than the kids at the food court, miss! Oh! I had forgotten what I originally meant to ask because... 
because of your fine coat of hair. Teddy Bear, though I am a woman, I wish to partake in this Grand Prix. Huh? I can't help you with that. Oh, but are you not the host shown in the introduction video? It's all a huge misunderstanding. That guy's an imposter. <laughs> Won't you hear me out? I see. So you realized that something was amiss and came wandering in here yourself to investigate. But you fell into the imposter's trap and couldn't do a thing until a moment ago. You have my deepest sympathies. Do, do I really? Anyways, everyone else is on the contestant list while I get the cold shoulder. <laughs> is that so? Then... Since we are both outcasts, let us participate of our own accord. Our own? May I request a match from you? That makes no sense at all! What, what do you mean? Ooh, maybe a hot and heavy struggle with all kinds of clinches and holds? A one-on-one -on -one battle to the extreme. That makes no sense! W -w Wait a second! You look a lot stronger than me, miss! Oh, don't be so modest. No, no, no! I'm really not! I'm very sorry, but the deadline for submitting a forfeit notice has expired. You're not sorry at all! There are things I can't do, you know! <gasps> oh, but on the other hand, if I can try scoring with you later, I might rethink this. Score? I do not understand the term, but if that is your stipulation, why, I accept. Oh! You accept? Woohoo! I'm ready to go whenever you are! That is, if you're still alive after me. Huh? Well then, here goes. Your fate is in the cards. are an intriguing creature. Hmm? Are you interested in me? Though you aren't human, you fight against your fate and wish to be with humans. I have witnessed one other case who bore such a fate in the past. Huh? You made a choice and decided how you wish to live. That is marvelous, Teddy Bear. Marvelous? Me? D does that mean you're still okay with me trying to score with you? 
that is not what it means. No! The way you shoot down my attempts reminds me of Yuki-chan! Yuki-chan, is this an acquaintance of yours? Yuki-chan is a very precious friend of mine! You have friends. Actually, everyone who is in that video are my friends. But I can't forgive them for having all the fun. I'll make them buy me a tasty treat for this. I see. May I ask you something? Who would you consider the strongest among your friends? Well, Sensei, of course. He's the manliest of all men! Sensei. If I recall correctly, that is the name of a governing class within a school, wielding the power of life and death over its students. Yes, that does indeed sound like the name of a strong warrior. Sensei's our leader! Quite helpful. Thank you. Once the tournament's over, you should come hang out at Juness sometime. Juness? Um, it's a place where Don Yosuke and I work. It's huge! You can eat food there, and they have candy, toys, and sexy bikinis, too. <gasps> what a paradise on Earth! It seems there is still much I do not know about in your world. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I must get going now. Be careful! may have come to this. Bring out the next opponent! Hmm. No one heeded my call. I suppose repeating that line isn't enough. Aha! There is someone closer by than I had expected. What a reunion this will be! I'm starting to feel tingly! from your praise. Pardon my 
bold entrance. Huh? Oh, the monitor's completely shattered. Who would do such a thing? A strange intruder has shown up. Oh my, I thought we were having a touching reunion. How unfortunate that you would refer to me as a strange intruder. A reunion? I don't recall ever meeting anyone so odd. She who governs power. Does that ring any bells for you? Huh? Wait. Are you the one I met in that blue room, then? Your entrance just now was very different from how I remembered your behavior, so I didn't recognize you. But you're... Eridanus, son! Hmm. No. Eli... Elixir? Arengi? In any case, I never dreamed that I'd meet you here. That goes for myself as well. It's been a long time since I saw you. But why are you here? What about your duties of governing power? I am currently in gross abandonment of my duties. That was... a very straightforward answer. Considering the circumstances here, I'd like to test your strength as well. What? Please, wait a moment. Does that mean you wish to fight me? From what I've heard, in certain cultures in your world, one lets one's fists do the talking. Perhaps you could think of it as a sporty, modern, and extreme way of greeting one another. I don't understand at all. You seem to have become strong beyond all recognition. I'd like to see your power for myself to broaden my horizons. Will you grant my shameless request? I still don't understand. But does this mean your wish will be fulfilled if I agree to fight you? If that's really what you want, will you mind if I don't hold back? I couldn't ask for anything more. I, Elizabeth, will fight you with all the strength at my disposal. Now, let us begin. since I fought with all my power.
I now have a wish of my own. Though it may take vast oceans of time for it to come true. Perhaps one day you will accompany me on the same journey. What do you mean? If our destinies truly do cross, you will eventually understand. Ah, by the way, how have your friends been? Huh? Oh, they're all well. Several of them are here right now. have suddenly burst from the speakers. How dreadful. That was 180% your doing. Such repeated meddling. It seems I have a bit of a score to settle with the host, too. Well then, I will be going now. Please be careful. Oh, wait. There is a rule in this tournament against the loser of a fight moving on. Considering that I entered myself into the tournament, I do not think you count as a defeated contestant. That is only conjecture, though. You entered yourself, yet you're going to settle a score with a host for complaining about you? Huh. Details. I cannot believe that even Elizabeth's son came to this world. <sighs> That's it! Her name was Elizabeth's son! I finally remember! Teddy Bear Imposter. The Student Council President is here too. It seems the false Teddy Bear's tone is much harsher than before. Has he been meeting with difficulties lately? Bear was actually the girl's shadow. I see. It's true that suffering to this degree could cause a shadow to go berserk and affect its surroundings. One of them has to understand how I feel. 
isn't that what you thought? The important part is that it's all your fault. That's not true! You, you want, want the, the everyday, everyday boys and girls to experience what you have to go through. through. You, you want to see close friends fight for their lives against each other. Because if they do that, then they might understand. You want to make them understand. That ain't true! It's alright then. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of everything from here. I'll destroy anyone who doesn't understand you and comes to get in your way. Just like you once did. Please stop! That's all a lie! You're not me! <laughs> finally! You finally said it! I'm finally free! The power! Labrys! I won't let you hurt her anymore. If you're gonna keep rampaging, I'll fight you! Fine! Then you'll, you'll be, be the, the first, first to die! die. <laughs> that young man is a Persona user, too. his powers be? This opportunity cannot be missed. Up this scene. Who are you? <laughs> you! How? I set, set up walls so you couldn't pass through. through. How did you get here? Tricks can get stuffed. Ah, are you perhaps the sensei that Teddy Bear spoke of? Someone who has awakened to the power of the wild card through Velvet Room's guidance. What? Wait, that blue outfit. Who are you? <laughs> I see. I feel. 
feel that I have a good grasp on the situation now. Then can't you tell you're in the way? Get out of here! I cannot do that. I came to settle some business I had with you, the tournament's host. What business? To be blunt! Uh, hmm, what business was it? How the hell should I know? That was harsh. It turns out that I do not care about such trifling details after all. My apologies. Please forget my mention of business. Actually, my search for a certain individual has unexpectedly concluded, so we're done here. Who said we're done? That's it! I'll kill you where you stand! Hmm. I wouldn't recommend it. If I may be so boastful, it would be a battle you stand no chance of winning. What? It's nice meeting you, by the way. I am Elizabeth. Would it ring a bell if I mentioned that I am the one who governs power? You mean like Margaret? Oh, do you know my older sister? I see, no wonder. Stop ignoring me, bitch! Please wait a moment. I must ask the one over there to leave this place before we resume. It's you who's going to leave! <sighs> I was sure that I gave the proper warnings earlier. So it goes. Your fate is in the cards. This is me? Excuse me, but may I leave the rest of this to you? I'm ashamed to say so, but delicate persuasion is not my forte. I understand. I agree that you don't seem like you'd be too good at it. Miss President, or actually Labrys. supposed to do? What difference does it make if I accept this? In the end, no one's gonna understand me anyway, right? It's true that others won't be able to easily understand your pain. But are you gonna give up after just one try at showing them? <laughs> one victory or loss doesn't matter. What matters is that you don't give up. That's what I think. I shouldn't give up? No, 
You can do this. You're not alone anymore. talking about before? I am also not human. But who you are is for you to decide. That is the power of potential that everyone holds. Even for a machine, I believe that still holds true. <laughs> you could have just said so when we first met. Alas, I have always had some difficulty making myself understood. Come on now, you should go to her. <gasps> I'm sorry I ignored you all this time. I was the one who left you all alone. After all, Yeah, you did well. Thanks. There's no need to thank us. It was all you. Labrys! There's no need to worry. She must have reached the limits of her stamina. The strength that binds hearts together. No matter how many times I witness it, its beauty never fades. May I borrow some of your time? Are you a resident of the Velvet Room too? Well, in a way, I have abandoned my duties at the moment in order to see through a desire of mine. What did you want with me? In order for my wish to be granted, I require a power much greater than what I have. But it is most likely not power used to fight. It is something else. I wish to understand what that is. The power of the wild card that changes bonds into strength. I have a feeling that the key lies there. I don't really understand. But more bluntly, I wish for you to show me your potential. I get it now. You don't mind? Would you back down if I said no? After what you said before, I don't think you'd back off that easy. <laughs> Touché. There's no need to be lenient. I invite you to approach this battle as if you intend to kill me. I didn't think I could win any other way. Thank you. Well then, here goes. Your fate is in the cards. Judged. The lover! 
She's so strong. I see. You do indeed have great power. Could it be that it's something I cannot understand? Hey, are you okay? Oh shit, dude, what happened to you? Yukon, are you alright? Senpai, hang in there! you do this? What did you do to Senpai? You're so mean, miss! This is going too far! Who are you anyway? You better explain yourself! If you did this with malign intent, we won't let you leave here so easily. One more time. What? Please, that is enough. I've already witnessed your strength. If this ends with my defeat, it doesn't count as me showing you my potential. But... You shouldn't jump to conclusions. I thought I said this once today. What's important is that you don't give up after one try. You have to hang in there. My friends that I haven't seen in a while are all here. I can't just wave the white flag. What not? I cannot believe I am seeing this. Uh. 
Are you all right? You're... What was that just now? Do you happen to know what this power is? I do not know the specifics, but... That must be the power of their bonds. The power that stems from not being alone. I don't know why, but... I feel like I understand when I'm watching them. The power of not being alone. important is that you don't give up. So this is a bond. What I should be studying isn't just him, but all of them together. Not the strength of a person, but of people. That may be the lesson. It seems I am starting to find hope. Today's festivities made for quite a wonderful Grand Prix. Considering that there have been some gains, I should be going, if you'll all excuse me. Wait a sec, you haven't explained yourself yet! You haven't even told us your name! It's Elizabeth! Hey! Back here! What are you all happy for? Who was she? Well, the odds are low that she was the mastermind behind this case. Enough about her! Senpai's more important! We'll get you out of here in no time, so hang in there, Senpai! Teddy, get a stretcher ready! Th huh? What are you standing around for? Move! Ah! Uh, guys, I'm not exactly critically injured, you know? I think it's wonderful. You're... Seeing you surrounded by friends reminds me of a certain someone. A certain someone? There is no need to worry, everyone. His wounds are not serious. He is merely exhausted. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, um... Who are you? I'm sure that he will continue to increase his strength of heart. It is a given with so many friends. I am a little bit envious. Well then, farewell. Elizabeth? Elizabeth, are you listening? Huh. You seem lost in thought like that frequently of late. 
Could this mean that you finally began to be troubled over things, like a normal person? How scathing of you, as usual. Believe me, sister, I am not as bad as you. What's the matter? My dear sister, I want to tell you a fairy tale. Hmm? What's this about? In our world, at the far reaches of the Sea of the Soul, there stands a large door. A soul which devoted itself to sealing that door slumbers there. Why did it do such a thing? That soul is risking itself to prevent those who have lost sight of life's brilliance from luring the world to self-destruction. It has become the guardian of the door, of the whole world in fact. That is a very sorrowful story. My dear sister, do you think I can save that person? Hmm? I thought it was a fairy tale. It may be impossible alone, but what if I joined forces to do it? This person's friends are capable of miracles at times. This person you speak of, is it... I hope you're not planning to... Oh, don't be silly, my dear sister. I told you, it was only a fairy tale. <sighs> oh, to a certain degree, all of your stories are like fairy tales. I don't know what's troubling you, but be sure that you don't neglect your duties. No, that's not quite right either. <laughs> to think I was unconsciously afraid of something and keeping my distance from it. That is quite a surprise. I cannot defeat that monster now. I may in time gain the power to truly erase it. To think the day would come where I would behold my own arcana and not that of a visitor's. And the beginning of a journey.
It may be that my journey has finally truly begun. The fool, hmm? Well, I am aware that I still do foolish things. Please wait for me. One day I shall surely see my wish come true. My master has a large nose.
The following sponsors were responsible for this program.